Jim, so show me what do you what do you have here? Yeah, this is so we were so weird. One ninety three in, in like, space. It was scary on the line. <laughs> what, what is one ninety three? One ninety three is the, the, the countries that I visited. I brought all of my passports with me, representing all of the countries in the world. And um, this was pushing that final boundary, going to space. And let me tell you, that was a an out of body experience. <laughs> uh, I was thinking that on the way up, you're going 2,300 miles an hour, and you feel every bit of that, every bit of that, and then you get... It's a public time safety stops. issue. It's, it's, it's like, down link and so it's it's like this FAA moment in time where you see no. this no. beautiful FAA earth like and the, the blackness and of the universe. It's, it's the SDN blackest SDN black SDN SDN I had ever seen. And I, I said that as like, that is, that is an eternal black. It is a dark black, and it is just breathtaking. George, tell us, how was it? It was awesome. Was it? Amazing. <laughs> You cannot be put into words. As soon as we got above 100,000 feet, you saw the sky getting darker, and when it turned to pitch black, it was just gorgeous. The, the pictures don't do it justice. So between the black sky and the curvature of the earth, and then having the, the freedom of floating around and upside down, just an amazing trip. Oh, just thrill of a lifetime. That's fantastic. So it was everything that you had hoped for and in more. your entire career <laughs> fighting for this, right? Wow. Yeah. Here we are, letting more people go to space, and wow. So <laughs> tell, just tell me what happened. What was your experience? I think going up, I was thinking it was going to be 50% weightlessness and 50% the view. When we got up there, it became 5% the weightlessness and 95% the view. The weightlessness was neat, but the view of looking to space which is as black as your uniform, seeing the earth, and then you could look down, and you know how the farmers, when you're in a plane, they have the circles? You could see all those, and it was incredible. Uh, there's, it's, you can't, there's, we just gotta get, all of America's gotta get caught up to this, and we need a lot of people up here. There's, it's, I'm still stunned for words. Uh, the weightlessness was great. We weren't up there long enough to really, really enjoy the weightlessness, where you could eat and play with objects. It's the view. There's you, you look out of an airplane at 35,000 feet and realize that we're, what, 10 times that height up there. It was unbelievable. Uh, it's got to be for the astronauts who go into space where it's all black. That's got to be incredible. I'm just thinking, God, I wish I were in the blackness looking back. It's unreal. Yeah. Just unreal. Yeah. Thank you so much. Your training was off the charts. Oh. <laughs> we got in and it was like, oh, this is just what we've been doing for the last few good, days. Good, good. That's it was the just, intention. It was unbelievable. That you can relax but I, but I did even do, I wanted windows. to do somersaults and all that, and I was just taken back by the view. It's, it's, you can't put it into words, you just have to see it. Yeah. You can't put it into words. And coming down, that's where you really felt the G's coming down. Mm -hmm. When we separated, you almost, the capsule almost felt like it was starting to fall right then, you know, that feeling. And then you just realize you're there and you're, you, you can't, you can't describe it. It's just unbelievable. Anyway, awesome. that's it. Cut! <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Freddie.